The Zydeco Crossroads partnership between WURD and WXPN kicked off with Mojo host Steph Renee broadcasting from the WXPN studios and interviewing Leon Chavis of Leon Chavis and the Zydeco Flames and Corey Broussard of Corey Broussard and the Zydeco Unit. Following the radio interview, Steph Renee welcomed the crowd at World Cafe Live and everyone present was treated to a great evening of Zydeco music. Right, um, you know, we, we, I guess you could say we take the the roots of Zydeco and we incorporate everything that I hear. Everything I hear on the radio, everything I see on TV. I'm 33 years old. I'm into a lot of different kinds of music. And I just make a big gumbo and uh, we make it funky, soulful. We don't bring R&B into it. But at the same time, we keep that Zydeco beat. So I, I think Zydeco will be the next big thing. So talk a little bit about how you got into this music. Well, um, I have like, um, I'd say like, I think it's three generations in this music right now. From my dad to my grandfather to his dad, mm -hmm. all played, well, let's see, I'm gonna have to break it down. First, before it was even, I would say like, um, maybe in the 30s, 1930s or something like that. Uh -huh. They started off with something called Lala, which mis was Mr. Uh, Amadi Ardwan. And from there, it went from um, kind of like a bluesy style, but it was still Zydeco. Of course, everybody know of Mr. Clifton Chenier, the king himself. Yes. You know, then it went from funk, then it went to R&B, then it, you know, it, it just keeps progressing like any other kind of music that we have. My name is Stephanie Renee. I'm the program director at 900 AMW URB. We are thrilled to be able to partner with our friends at XPN FM on promoting this wonderful, wonderful series of concerts in this multi-generational, multicultural effort. It's a beautiful thing. So we look forward to meeting you at each of the concerts that are a part of this beautiful Zydeco Crossroads series and having a good time in the music. Right now. 